Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farrant channel. In today's video I'm going to be going over and showing you guys some updates for the Law Miner 1.73 and also talking through some of the changes that it's done for Nexa and for Casper at the moment. Okay, so let's take a little look over some of the changes for the 1.73. So as you can see guys, this was released yesterday and if we take a look over on the improved Casper codes, okay, so for the Casper side of things, it has improved the performance of Casper by 0.2 to 1% depending on which model of GPU that you currently have at the moment okay and then if we take a look down on the second we've got the improved efficiency okay by two to three percent depending on the GPU model that you have and then also this is also quite important as well have the number of shares on the Casper network at the moment so that basically means if you're mining and you're getting a lot of shares right now 50% of those have you know shares are being halved so that means in, in, in a nutshell you are ever so slightly earning just a little bit more on your Casper mining so let's move on to the the next uh, nexa codes as well so improved performance by two to five percent and then you've also got uh, improved improved in performance on uh, amd cards as well for 0.5 to 1.5 percent depending on which model that you have as well so it'd be good for all those people out there with some of the 580s and then all gpus on nexa and nvidia gpus on casper now do a clean shutdown once hitting Control c that should prevent issues and crashing while uh, when exiting slash resetting your overclocks and let's also look at this one as well enabling reading of gpu junction temperature which is also really really good to have as well and windows updated the overclocking gui with added amd overclocking functionality that there is a really really great update and that should uh, help a lot of people that are currently running right now with some amd um, gpus at the moment so if we take a look over on to my high farm as you can see i've only just recently just gone ahead and just changed up a few seconds ago but if you guys want to go ahead and run the lol miner 1.73 as you can see there what we're going to need to do okay guys is we're going to need to go ahead and run a command so if we take ourselves back over to the lol miner and as you can see here it says open the console console and write this in so just go ahead and just copy this here take this back over to our worker commands just go ahead and paste that into there and then just press run and then let that do its job and it should go ahead and update the miner on there for you. By downloading the 1.73 update, you're definitely gonna be increasing your hash rate ever so slightly, uh, lowering a little bit of the watts for the efficiency and then also you are uh, having the amount of stales. So make sure you do guys take that into account if you are gonna be mining Casper. Okay, so for those of you that are currently on Windows at the moment, how to go ahead and set this up. So all you're gonna to need to do guys, very, very simple is just download the folder and go ahead and change it in your wallet address okay maybe change in the pool so as you can see here one highlighted at the moment so the lol miner v 1.73 windows 64 zip go ahead and download this it may pop up as a dangerous file just press ctrl j go to your download section in your chrome go ahead and press on keep and keep anyway okay so let's go ahead and open this up take myself over to my desktop Let's go ahead and just drag and drop this straight onto the front. Now, for those of you that have seen my computer uh, before, uh, as you can see, it's a lot more cleaner than it was before. Uh, for some reason, I just keep having lots and lots of issues and my computer just keeps dying. Uh, so I have to keep reformatting. And I think that my biggest issue there is just because I've got a small hard drive and I definitely need to uh, upgrade that on there. So take that you know, from a side because it's got nothing to do with getting this, this set up. So all we need to do is if we just scroll down and we can find ourselves a bat file to work off so this for, for today's video let's go ahead and use nexa like i say it's not gonna be any different for casper so just go ahead and open up the file and as you can see here for the wallet go ahead and grab yourself your wallet from your wallet that you have or go ahead and take it from whatever you grab your wallet for us from put it in there and then if you're happy with the pool that is up on there go ahead and press Control save or just press save at the top Let's go ahead and close this. And if we take ourselves here and we just double click, we should now be successfully in mining and go ahead and press allow access on this. And then we are now mining on Nexa with the new update and as i say guys um it, it has mentioned that you know if you if you are using uh you know casper and things like that you're going to get you know half the amount of uh you know defective shares you know things like that that are coming through at the moment for me at the moment where it says potential to high overclock i haven't actually gone ahead and i haven't set the uh, the overclocks for this uh 3090 that is currently mine at the moment this is just purely to test and show you guys exactly 
that it works and that it is setting up just fine. And as you can see there, we're starting to come through with a 121 mega hashes and give it a little bit more time. I'm sure it will adjust up and sort itself out, especially a lot more once I've gone ahead and put in the overclock settings. So talking about the overclock settings, let's just take ourselves over to the hash rate.no and let's just go ahead and copy the minor options for the lol minor so we can actually go ahead and set the overclock settings just right on this so let's just go ahead and close this off let's take ourselves back over to the folder let's open up the mine underscore exe and the extra variables i do believe that we can actually put the extra parameters in here take that back press Control save now let's go ahead and double click and rerun this. Applying the overclock settings. It is saying that they're not applied, but it is showing that they are currently there at the moment. Let's just go ahead and have a look over on to the MSI Afterburner. And then just move that over onto here as well. Like I say, I wouldn't recommend MSI Afterburner or anything like that for the overclocking tool, but if that's what you have to use, that's what you should use. Um, I would recommend using NV tool or something like that. But as I say, guys, this is a fresh install on this computer, so I'm just going ahead and just basically seeing uh, what we can get the results out of this. Now, also as well, I did go ahead and clean uh, my 3019 because I've had a lot of you say, uh, you know, the temperatures are extremely high and it's not really running that efficient for it. And, and I totally agree. Uh, and at the moment, as you can see, it is running at 83 Celsius. Um, this is the PNY edition so it is a very very bulky card uh, but unfortunately it doesn't really kick away that heat exactly as i would like and and potentially as well if you can kind of see it just you know down there at the moment it is kind of like in a bit of a corner um, and it doesn't really have uh, the best airflow at this specific point but as far as the concept and uh, showing you guys exactly how to set things up everything in that in that sense is just right now let me know down in the comments guys are you currently mining on nexa are you mining on casper are you mining on um rxd because if we take ourselves looking uh, over on the hashrate.no and we take a little look down as you can see right now it's showing that rxd is the highest uh, profit coin to be mined at the moment and then the second coming in depending on which gpu that you guys have at the moment okay uh, claw is showing for the second let's take a little scroll down see if there's anything else is showing up for any other gpus so as you can see guys it's pretty much uh, just rxd and claw at the moment so um, those are the ones you probably want to be having a little look at octa uh, let's have a little look at this octa space yeah, so I haven't really uh, checked into Okta. Uh, I may have a little look into that uh, in maybe in a future upcoming uh, video. It's an ETH hash coin. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's work on that algorithm. So I'll definitely have a little look and take that into consideration as well. But guys, make sure that you're setting your overclock settings right. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.